Violet, could you please read the agenda for me? Oh, yeah, sure. Mythology Day 300. Watch Joseph Campbell videos. Listen to Jack Johnson NPR interview. Alone Together quests 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 18, 21, 22, 23, 24. <laughs> I think he's finding his inner dragons. No, nah, he's gonna be finding his bliss or something like that. Yeah, yeah probably. probably. I'm thinking about the words of Joseph Campbell. Oh, okay. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Nice. Whoa. Oh. You guys know the series I say is due tomorrow, right? Yeah. No, you guys yeah. have read your book? Still oh, in the yeah. process? 100%. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. So, what do you guys think of what you have learned from Joseph Campbell? Mm hmm. Oh, hey, Elder John, dismiss you! Elder John, dismiss you! Hey, do you guys know the sleepover where we work on our series essays? Yeah, I literally haven't even started. Yeah, I don't have yeah. read the books. Yeah. Sleepover! Did you guys even read the books? No, no. not really. Should we go on YouTube and see if there's vlogs of Narnia? I heard that there are. Yeah, yeah, yeah I heard that too. Oh, yeah, but what about my books? Why is she even in our group? Violet, let's just watch them later. Okay. We'll get into these ones right now. Yeah. Hello there. Welcome back to the vlog. I am Uncle Andrews, and today... I'm going to be giving these rings to my dear nephew so he can touch them. <laughs> hey guys, it's Polly here with Diggory. Diggory. Yeah, it's Diggory. And we're here and we're going to touch these rings these that, rings our, right that our uncle gave us. Uncle Andrews. Apparently going to make us disappear. And we're feeling a little bit adventurous today. So we'll see what happens. Embark on the hero's journey. They disappeared. The heroes have left home. <laughs> hey guys, Diggory here. Back at it again with Polly. We touched the rings and we suddenly appeared in a grassy area with many, many pools, but we're standing next to this one. Pool full of water. He thinks we should go in, but I don't think we should, but he's convinced me, so we're gonna hop in and see what happens. We'll catch you guys later with the results. <laughs> hey guys, we're here at this table and we There's a little stone lady. Stone lady, and we, it seems like she should wake up or something. Wait. Oh my God. My name is Jadis and I'm the queen of this land. And you are now my servant. <gasps> we have to go back into the pools. Will you come with us? Yes. I'm Aslan, and I'm creating Narnia. Wow. Look at all the animals he's creating. Wow. They're talking. Wow. wow. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the channel. It's Susan here. Lucy. Edmund, Peter, my <laughs> and, brother, and we're the Penrose kids. And today we moved into a new house. Yep. Oh my god! We're going to be playing hide and seek. We're going to play hide and seek. So we're going to catch you guys later. All right. See ya. See ya. Hey guys. So yesterday when we were playing hide and seek, when I went into this wardrobe, it took me to this crazy new magical world where I met this goat guy named Mr. Tummins, and he was really awesome. Um, but look, I swear you just have to go right through all um the clothes and then you're there and it's really awesome so let's go tell my siblings come on see you later. hey guys edmund here so my stupid sister lucy just came up to us with some imbecile news that there's a place called narnia through a wardrobe it's clothes how are you gonna go to narnia through clothes so, I'm gonna go in there just to prove her wrong because she's an idiot, a literal idiot. So, I'll catch you guys later. Guys, Narnia's real. Holy crap, Narnia's real. I walk in, I'm, I walk in, there's a witch, she's kind of hot, and then she gave me Turkish delight. And it, it was good. And then she starts asking a little bit of weird question. I, I just imagine this. I'm the queen of this land, and I can make you king, but only. 
<laughs> you bring your siblings to Narnia. Okay, what do I get? You get this token to light and you get to be king. So what's up everybody? We're supposed to be checking out this wardrobe that Lucy said. Her. It's obviously wrong. I'm telling the truth. So She's not telling the truth, it's just an empty wardrobe. Guys, I hear someone coming! Oh, really? oh, man. oh no! Oh, oh no! In the wardrobe! Oh, no. oh, no. In the wardrobe, no! Why can't my tours go as planned? Guys, Edmund here just beat up the White Witch, knocked her wand out and everything. It was pretty crazy. But anyway, I'm coming to King. They call me King Edmund on the just on the streets. I right, so you're going to call me. We're becoming kings and queens right now. Hey. Woo! Hey. This is so much fun. All right. It's Peter. We just completely slaughtered the White Witch. So, uh, yeah. Kings and queens. Going out. If you're suffering from moderate to severe failure disease in lockers class, then try our newest product, Lensosis, the highest rated product to help your grade in lockers class. This product has helped hundreds of locker students, just like him. This product includes the lenses of archetypes, cultural universals, hero stages, hero opposites, hero devi literary devices, and many more. Look at him. His grade got shot up from a B to a B plus. <laughs> We're gonna ask Kate here how it has helped his grade in Locker's class. You know, it's helped tremendously ever since day one. Got that B to a B plus. One of the best things I've ever done in my life. Can you explain how it helped? Like some examples. You know, you just pull that culture universal out of nowhere and you just get it onto the paper. It's just a mind blowing experience. That archetypes, the archetypes are crazy. I don't know. It's just, it's a mind blowing experience, man. You heard it here first. This product does work. Side effects may include everlasting repetitive disorder due to useless lenses, long drawn out conversations with JRL, vaginitis disorder, incorrect verbiage, uncreative essay typos, MLA format error syndrome, ADD. addiction to Joseph Campbell, uncontrollable buffalo dancing, speed walking, urge to say peace, crushing dreams, necessity to carry four pens at all times, and mm hmm spasms. What up, everybody? It's Shasta and Bree, and we're running away from home. Later, catch you guys later. That was the same. Well, oh, what's up, guys? Uh, today we're doing an interview with Shasta. Not Shasta, here it is. So. I hear you You uh, used to have a pretty rough life. Yeah, I was, I was in slavery, man. It was, it was pretty That's powerful. crazy, bro. That's crazy. I, I and, then, and then you met a horse named Bree? Yeah, she was, she was a pretty good horse, actually. Pretty good horse. Yeah, and so yeah. how was your trip? It was pretty, uh, it was pretty, uh, pretty rigorous. Rigorous? I'm not going to lie. I mean, uh, uh, ran into this lion. Uh, he, like, it, at first it looked like a ton of lions, but then realized it was just one of them. I was like, I was like, wow, dude. That's wild. That's not all they did. Yeah. Uh, did it rip your shirt or something or something like that? Yeah, it, it kind of, kind of ripped my shirt, man. I was pretty uh, traumatized. That's pretty wild. Yeah. yeah. Reminds me of that time one time. Oh, sorry, guys. Well, anyway, catch you next time. Great interview. Great guy right here. Well, this man had a pretty wild trip. Pretty great block right here. That book was so irrelevant. Yeah, what? I know. Yeah, exactly. Huh. That's really weird. Hey everybody, Prince Caspian here. I just found out my true identity and realized that my race has destroyed Narnia and that I need to restore it to its old self. Uh, I need to uh, get away from King Maraz because he's trying to kill me. So, uh, long live Narnia, I hate King Maraz! Oh. What's up guys, Edmund here. I'm on the sideline, first hand of the battle between Maraz and Peter. Peter's definitely beating her up, beating him up right now. 
And he won. Oh, Long live the High King, Peter. <sighs> it's you, Stis. Hey guys, we're on this ship right now. We're trying to get. Oh, oh my God, it's Caspian. It's Caspian. We just oh went through God. a picture. We just went through a picture. Oh, oh. why do we have to be in the water? Hey guys, Edmund here. Uh, sitting on Dragon Island right now. We're, there's a dragon, but it spelled its name as Eustace in the sand, so we're trying to figure that out. Oh, it's Eustace. Eustace, guys, look. Hey, Eustace, what, what, what happened? Hello. Um, well, I ran off, and when I ran off, I kind of lost track of time, and I ended up sleeping in a cave. Uh, with gold and put a bracelet on and fell right asleep. Then when I woke up, the bracelet was super tight. And and then I thought there was a dragon next to me. And then I realized I was the dragon. And it was really scary. And um, I I found you guys. I I kind of helped out. And um, and then uh, I saw this lion. And the lion told me to go to this water. And he he bathed me and and he told me to pull off my skin. So I tried a few times, but. It just wasn't working, and then he did it himself, and he did it so deep, it felt so terrible, but amazing at the same time, and now I'm just here. Well, are you are you sorry for your actions? Yes. Well, it, it's okay, Eustace, you were only an ass. I, I was a traitor. Well, guys, now that Eustace is safe, we can embark on our next trip to the next island, so catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Hey, guys, Hi. Edmund here. Lucy here. Uh, we just got back from the Aslan's table. We're yeah. currently in Aslan's country at the very edge of the world. Yep. Uh, Aslan's, wants to talk to us, yeah, so Aslan wants to talk to us, so let's, let's go ahead and see what he says. Oh, oh, hey, Aslan. You guys have become too old for Narnia. This will be probably your last time. No. Oh, my no. God. The culture of the universals allegorically... <laughs> Has this ever happened to you? Mr. Locker taking your phone? If so, you better call Saul. If this has ever happened to you, I can take it to court and I can get your phone back by the end of the day instead of by the end of the week. I can make the jury jaw drop in your favor. Hey guys, it's Joe here. I just, I've been getting bullied so much recently and I'm just really sad about it, really down. And I don't know what to do. Do you guys have any advice? Oh, hey Eustace, what are you doing here? Well, I was coming to see if you were okay. Well, what do you care? You're just one of the bullies. That's not fair. You're right. I guess you've changed over the years. Yeah. Oh my god, here come the bullies. Let's oh. go! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Let's go! Oh, get in the door! Go in the door! Go in the door! Hey guys, we're here at the cliff and I'm getting super close. No, look, don't, look, don't. oh my god. Oh my. <gasps> no, Eustace, Eustace. Oh my gosh, he's falling down the cliff. Hey, it's Jill and Eustace here. We just defeated the queen of the underworld and her giants. Now we're on a mission to save Prince Rillian. We got to find him, but it's been a while. <gasps> oh, oh my, my god. god, there he is. Don't free me no matter what I say. Don't free me. No, Why? I need to free you. It's a part of the steps. Free me, free me, free me. We, 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 we're not supposed to free him. We're Aslan, Aslan. Oh, he mentioned Aslan. Aslan. Free him, free him, free him. Free him, free him, free him. Free him, free him, free him, free him. Oh, are I'm you Prince Rillian? I'm Prince Rillian. Who are you guys? I'm, I'm Jill. I'm Eustace. We saved you. Thank you for saving me. Yay. Hello there, I'm King Tyrion. I'm trapped and I need the long lost kings and queens of Narnia to save me. Hey guys, it's Jill. And I'm Eustace. And we're still on our journey to help save Narnia. Oh my God, it's King Tyrion. Oh, let's right. save him. Save we're gonna save already. Narnia. Save oh, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. It's Aslan, and I'm about to tell some very harsh news. Hello, guys. Hello, Hello Aslan. Aslan. This news is very harsh and will probably surprise you. 
You have been in a train wreck. What? And this Narnia is not real. What? This is a fake Narnia. I will take you guys to the real Narnia. Well, I like this Narnia. I like this Narnia. I'm sure this other Narnia is better. Let's go, let's go. Guys, this is Edmund, the whole gang. Hi. We got Hi. Eustace all the way over there, Diggory, Polly, everybody. Yeah. We're all here again together. Yeah. Eustace is over there too. I'm right here. And apparently we died in a railroad accident. But well, good news, we're in the real Narnia real now. Narnia. And it's beautiful. Yeah. Da, 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 wow. Da, da, da. I'm pretty sure that was pretty accurate to the books, right? Yeah, yeah so. all of them were. It seemed yeah. right. What about your book? Oh, shoot. We're too tired. Okay. Yeah. I can just tell you about it to like refresh my memory. Oh, okay, idea just tell us yeah. about it. Okay, so basically. Okay, so the first book is called uh, The Book of Three. And so basically, Turan is basically raised by these guys, Cole and Dobbin. So this pig, their oracle pig, runs away, so he has to go find it. He meets Gideon and Gurgi. Gurgi, he hates Gurgi, but Gideon's awesome. Then he meets Pitts Island. We, they have a couple of really awesome battles. Really, really cool. And then he finds a pig. That's basically it. In the back cauldron, so they have to have this big little town meeting. Um, They met Elider and Adon. Adon's awesome. Elider sucks. So they have to go off to find the black cauldron because this evil guy in the black took it. They have some couple awesome really fights letter runs away adon dies so they have to use his brooch to go find the cauldron they find the cauldron they have to travel back without a lighter but a lighter tries to save the day because everybody turns out to be evil and he saves the day by jumping into the cauldron destroying it and stopping the bad guys so next is book three castle of lear so the group has to go for isle of mona to meet prince run who's that guy right there island he seeks away in the middle of the night so fluter that's fluter by the way has to play his harp to save him island me turns out to be an enchantress tyran and island me fall in love whatever blah 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 so the next one is book of four so tyran goes on his like hero's journey parent quest thing to find his parents with gurgi so they're off um they go to isle of mona and the witch of people tell him to go to find this castle so they have to fight dorath a bunch of times because dorath literally sucks but tarion realizes what he's there for to find the mirror so they go and find the mirror but dorath follows them stabs the mirror and so they have to have this huge awesome battle Tyran basically wins. Everybody's happy. The last, book, the last book is called High King. So this guy steals a sword, so they have to go find it. Fluter has to burn his harp. Gives his harp string to Tyran. They have a whole little bonding moment. They, like, love each other, whatever. Okay. Then we have some really awesome, super cool battles. Throw in some pottery. Throw in some evil people. In the end, they get married. Island, we, and, and Tyran are awesome. Everybody has to leave. They have to separate their ways, and they, it's a happy ever after. Okay. So that's basically the end of my story. I really enjoyed my series. I think that it was really full. Guys? <sighs> After skipping my Harvard reunion to grade these essays, you will be getting them back today. Guys, I'm pretty excited I'm about really, it. I'm really confident, really confident in mine. Like, I think yeah. that I did... I think I did... Oh. oh, it's fine. I think I'm still confident in mine. I think... Uh, oh. 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 Yeah, I think... I think I'll be... Oh. Fine. Oh. There you go, Skelly. Bro, what? Way to go, champ. Bro, no way!